Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to replace this uh, hard drive in this 21.5 inch iMac. To do this, you're going to need a few tools. This tool here is the tool we're going to use to remove the screen, and this is a new adhesive kit. And uh, you can search online for these. Now, this is pretty easy, but I want to tell you, you need to do this at your own risk. Um, you can break this screen pretty easily, but as you can see here, it is pretty tough uh, using this uh, tool. It only allows it to go down so far, so it's not going to damage anything underneath. But this one is on pretty good. And as you see, it does take a little bit of maneuvering. But really what you want to do is you want to really go back and forth to really loosen up that screen. So you'll see as I do this is I'm kind of going over the same areas over and over again to make sure that I've really loosened everything up. Okay. So now, once I've done that, you want to just tilt the screen back ever so slightly because there is two cables that are going to be need to be removed. And I'm going to show you that a little bit closer up here. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and remove this one on top and it just slides out. And then the next one, you're going to have to remove this pin. What you do is you, the locking pin, you just kind of slide it that way and then that cable will pull just out just like the other one did so you see you can just pull it out and you want to be very careful with these cables as they are very delicate okay as we move on to the next step we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the as you see there's still some adhesive on the bottom so i'm going to go ahead and insert this tool now this tool you can find this i got this off of amazon uh if you just search for your make and model of imac you can find it pretty easy or anywhere else online okay now we've got that screen removed so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and zero in on the hard drive and you can see it here now this particular one uh this solid state drive was actually dead it was showing up with a question mark in the folder so that is a classic symptom of a dead drive uh, I've never even heard of this brand it looks like it's an older 256 so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our Torx driver to remove it and on this one I believe it is a t9 bit and it comes out pretty easily you just got to get that uh, yeah got to get that cable removed okay so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it with a sand disk I've used these before yes there are other brands and I'm gonna go ahead and put the cushioning back on now since this is a solid state drive you don't really need this but we're gonna go ahead and put it back anyway I'm also loosening up uh, this other area here that ducking because I did have a hard time uh, putting the cable uh, back on the hard drive itself okay so once we get that done we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. And that next step is going to be cleaning uh, the residual uh, glue off of the uh, screen itself. So we just want to make sure that we put all these covers and screws. I like in my videos to kind of cover everything. So that's why I'm showing you everything kind of in reverse and just instead of just telling you, oh, just go ahead and put everything back together. So I like to show step by step exactly what to do. So that looks good there. So let's go ahead and remove that adhesive. And what I did is I just took my fingernail on a corner and you just kind of peel it slowly because if you peel it too fast, it's going gonna, it's gonna to just break apart. So if you do it slowly, it'll come off in one piece. So this is probably the most tedious part of this project. And once you get that off, you're just going to pull it off on all four sides. Now what I did is I took the adhesive tape that was in the kit and I just went ahead and kind of just tacked it on just to see where everything goes. Okay, and you can see it there. Now what I did do when I put this on is on the bottom there, I actually mixed up the four left and the five right, uh, but that's okay. It doesn't matter because you can just put those on in reverse. So once I pulled off one side of the tape, I went ahead and tacked it all on, as you see here, and if you pull it up where the, the labels are, it makes it easy to kind of remove it. Okay, so now we just have uh, that white uh, film left to pull off. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. And once we have all sides removed, that what I did is I put in the bottom first, and we don't want to push it in all the way. We just want to kind of just kind of get it in on the bottom first, so it's kind of like a hinge. And then we're going to go ahead and reattach the cables very carefully, as you see here. And I'm just going to get them in one by one. And this one here, you know it's in all the way when you go ahead and put that locking pin in. And then this one here, 
I just kind of push it in. It was kind of hard doing it with the camera. And this does uh, a lot easier to do this job if you do it with two people. Uh, when I did it, I did have a helper. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, so once we got that done, then what we want to do next is, as the screen is already lined up, is just kind of just meet it together and just go around all sides. Don't press too hard and just push it back together. Okay, and once you do that on these later Macs, you don't need any type of um, disks. You can just do an internet recoveries, which I did here, and you can see we're back up and running. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.